Hello everyone and welcome to Anton Math. Now in this video we're going to be starting part 5 of our pre-calculus series. And this is the first part of pre-calculus that's usually associated with a pre-calculus 2 college course or a second semester of pre-calculus 2. Or sorry, just a second semester of pre-calculus. Now in this video we're going to be starting off talking about the unit circle. Now, the unit circle is something a lot of you are probably familiar with, and I'm, I'm drawing it here as I, as I talk about it. Now, the unit circle means really just that. It's a circle where the radius of that circle is one unit, and one unit just means one of whatever measurement system we're using. So I'm drawing the unit circle here on the left. It's a circle of radius one centered at the origin, so centered at the point x is zero and y equals zero. All right. Now, for those of you who don't remember uh, the equations of circles, um, you can feel free to go back and review that. But um, a circle of this type with radius 1 centered at the origin has an equation x squared plus y squared equals 1. And this means there's no shifts in my x or y, so this means I'm centered at the origin. And on the right-hand side here, this bit of information tells us that the radius of the circle is 1. Now this equation is very important when we're talking about the unit circle, because what this tells us is any point where the x-coordinate and y-coordinate of that point satisfy this equation is going to be a point on my unit circle. So let's do a quick and easy example of what exactly I mean by that. And I'm just going to choose this point here on the right. Um, where I'm highlighting right here. And this is going to be an easy point. We see I'm crossing the x-axis here, so I know that my y value is 0. And because I know that the radius of my circle is 1, that's going to give me an x value of 1. So this is the point 1, 0. Okay. So the way that I would test to see if this point is on the unit circle, now we know it is because I chose one to be easy, but the way that I would normally test this is I'm going to take my x-coordinate and my y-coordinate and I'm going to plug it into this left-hand side of this equation for my unit circle. And if I get 1 on the right side, that means that we've confirmed that this point is indeed on the unit circle. So let's go ahead and do just that. My x value at this point is 1, so I'm going to talk 1 squared. And my y value is 0, so I'm going to plug in a 0 for my y. get 0 squared. Now 1 squared is 1. 0 squared is 0, so I do indeed get 1. So this confirms that our point is on the unit circle. Now before I go on to uh, the next example uh, to finish up this first introductory video, I want to I want to introduce a little bit of notation that I'm going to be using uh, throughout this section and through the rest of the course materials for pre-calculus and, and maybe even some other courses. And that's this point notation. So if I write, for example, P, and this is what I'll use most commonly is P, P and then parentheses X comma Y what this means is I'm talking about the point P, and the point P is located at whatever x value I have here, and whatever y value I have here. Now if I want to talk about multiple points, say I want to talk about two possible solutions, or, or etc., I'll use Q, or, you know, we'll keep on going, I could use Q, X, Y. So again, this just means I'm talking about the point that I've denoted as Q, this is my x coordinate, this is my y coordinate, and then etc., you know, we'll go on RST. Um, etc. as needed. So I want to do a, a little bit more detailed example here before we move on. Let's just say I have the point P root 3 over 3 root 6 over 3. And I want to know if this point P is on my unit circle. Now I'm going to do this the same way that I did with this first point, or 1, 0. I'm going to plug in the x and y coordinates for this point P into my equation for my unit circle. And I'm going to see if I get 1. If I get 1, that means the equation satisfied, so this point is on my unit circle. So I'm going to plug in square root of 3 over 3 for x. So I have square root of 3 over 3 squared. And I'm going to plug in square root of 6 over 3 for y. So I have square root of 6 over 3 squared. And I'm not going to put equals 1 just yet, right? That's what we're trying to confirm. So I want to actually calculate this out and see if I do get 1. So square root of 3 over 3 squared, remember I'm going to square the top and the bottom. So root 3 on the top squared is just 3. And on the bottom, 3 squared is 9. So I have 3 over 9 
plus. And then here my root 6 over 3, similarly I get 6 on the top and 9 on the bottom. So that's 6 over 9. Now 3 over 9 plus 6 over 9 equals 9 over 9, which of course equals 1. So this point P is on the unit circle. And in fact, P is going to be somewhere right over here. All right, so that is our introduction to the unit circle. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to review uh, the signs of points in the quadrants, and we'll do a new type of example before moving on.